Jeremy John Durham Ashdown, Baron Ashdown of Norton Subhamden, GCMG, CH, KBE, PC, usually known as Paddy Ashdown, is a British politician and former diplomat who served as leader of the Liberal Democrats from 1988 until August 1999. After serving as a Royal Marine and as an intelligence officer in the UK Security Services, Ashdown became a Member of Parliament for Yeovil from 1983 to 2001. Later he served as International High Representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina from May 27, 2002 to May 30, 2006, following his vigorous lobbying for military action against Yugoslavia in the 1990s. He was the chair of the Liberal Democrats 2015 general election team. A polyglot, Ashdown has an interpretership qualification in Mandarin and is fluent in several other languages. Ashdown has received national recognition for his services by appointment as Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George in the 2006 New Year Honours and member of the Order of the Companions of Honour in the 2015 New Year Honours. Early Life Lord Ashdown is the eldest of seven children, he has four brothers and two sisters. He was born in New Delhi, India, on February 24, 1941 to a family of soldiers and colonial administrators who spent their lives in India. His father was a lapsed Catholic, and his mother a Protestant. His mother was a QA nurse. Ashdown's father, John William Richard Durham Ashdown, was an Indian Army officer in the 14th Punjab Regiment and the Royal Indian Army Service Corps and in 1944 attained the rank of T Lieutenant Colonel during the retreat to Dunkirk in May 1940. John Ashdown ignored an order to abandon the men of the 32nd Animal Transport Company under his command, instead leading them to the port and onto one of the last ships to leave, without losing a single man. Although court-martialed for disobeying orders, he was exonerated and by the end of the war had risen to the rank of colonel. Lord Ashdown was largely brought up in Northern Ireland, where his father bought a farm in 1945 near Donaldy. He was educated first at a local primary school, then as a weekly boarder at Garth House Preparatory School in Bangor and from age 11 at Bedford School in England, where his accent earned him the nickname Paddy. Equals Royal Marines and Special Boat Section equals, after his father's business collapsed, Lord Ashdown passed the Naval Scholarship examination to pay for his school fees, but left before taking A-levels and joined the Royal Marines in 1959, serving until 1972, retiring with the rank of captain. He served in Bonio during the Indonesia-Euro-Malaysia confrontation and the Persian Gulf before training as a swimmer canoeist in 1965, after which he joined the elite special boat section and commanded a section in the Far East. He then went to Hong Kong in 1967 to undertake a full-time interpreter's course in Chinese, and returned to Britain in 1970 when he was given command of a Royal Marine Company in Belfast. Equals intelligence officer and diplomat equals, Ashdown left the Royal Marines to join the Secret Intelligence Service. As diplomatic cover, he worked for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office as first secretary to the United Kingdom Mission to the United Nations in Geneva, Switzerland. At the UN, Ashdown was responsible for relations with several UN organizations, involved in the negotiation of several international treaties, and some aspects of the Helsinki Conference. Political career, while in the Marines, Ashdown had been a supporter of the Labour Party but defected to the Liberal Party in 1975. He had a comfortable life in Switzerland, where he lived with his wife Jane and their two children Simon and Catherine in a large house on the shores of Lake Geneva, enjoying plenty of time for sailing, skiing and climbing. Ashdown decides to enter politics due to living during the era of two general elections in one year and a three-day week. He said that most of my friends thought it was utterly bonkers to leave the diplomatic service, but that he had a sense of purpose. In 1976 Ashdown was selected as the Liberal Party's prospective parliamentary candidate in his wife's home constituency of Yeovil and Somerset, and took a job with Norma Laird Garrett, then part of the Yeovil-based Westland Group. Yeovil's Liberal candidate had been placed second in February 1974 and third in the October 1974 general election and Ashdown's objective was to squeeze the local Labour vote to enable him to defeat the Conservatives who had held a seat since its creation in 1918. 
he subsequently worked for T-Scan, and was unemployed for a time after that firm's closure in 1981, before becoming a youth worker with Dorset County Council's Youth Service, working on initiatives to help the young unemployed. Member of Parliament, in the 1979 general election which returned the Conservatives to power, Ashdown regained second place, establishing a clear lead of 9% over the Labour candidate. The Conservative majority of 11,382 was still large enough to be regarded as a safe seat. When the sitting MP John Payton stood down at the 1983 general election to be made a life peer, however, Ashdown had gained momentum after his years of local campaigning. The Labour vote fell to only 5.5% and Ashdown won the seat with a majority of over 3,000, a swing from the Conservatives of 11.9% against a national swing of 4% to the Conservatives. Equals in Parliament equals, Ashdown had long been on his party's Social Democratic wing, supporting the 1977 Lib Blair Pact, and the SDPA Euro Liberal Alliance. In the early 1980s he was a prominent campaigner against the deployment in Europe of American nuclear-armed cruise missiles, describing them at a campaign for nuclear disarmament rally in Hyde Park in 1983 as the front end of the whole anti-nuclear struggle. It is the weapon we have to stop. Shortly after entering the House of Commons, he was appointed SDPA Euro Liberal Alliance spokesman on trade and industry and then on education. He opposed the privatization of the Royal Ordnance Factories in 1984. In 1986 he criticized the Thatcher government for allowing the United States to bomb Libya from UK bases, and in 1987 he campaigned against the loss of trade union rights by workers at GCHQ. Equals leader of Liberal Democrats equals. When the Liberal Party merged in 1988 with the Social Democrats to form the Social and Liberal Democrats, he was elected as the new party's leader and made a privy councillor in January 1989. Ashdown led the Liberal Democrats into two general elections, in 1992 and 1997. The Lib Dems recorded a net loss of two seats in 1992, when the party was still recovering from the after-effects of the 1988 merger. However at the 1997 election, the Liberal Democrats won 46 seats their best performance since the 1920s, though they did take a smaller share of the vote than they had done at the 1992 election. Between 1993 and 1997, he was a notable proponent of cooperation between the Liberal Democrats and New Labour, and had regular secret meetings with Tony Blair to discuss the possibility of a coalition government. This was despite Labour's opinion poll showings from late 1992 onwards virtually all suggesting that they would gain a majority at the next election, particularly in the first year or so of Blair's leadership following his appointment in the summer of 1994. The discussions began in early 1993, while the party was still being led by Blair's predecessor John Smith, who died suddenly in May 1994. After Blair was elected as Labour leader that summer, the talks continued. However, there was never any need for a coalition, as the 1997 general election ended in a landslide victory for Labour. The election also saw a breakthrough for the Liberal Democrats. Despite receiving fewer votes than in 1992, they increased their representation from 18 to 46. A joint cabinet committee including senior Labour and Liberal Democrat politicians was then created to discuss the implementation of the two parties' shared priorities for constitutional reform. Its remit was later expanded to include other issues on which Blair and Ashdown saw scope for cooperation between the two parties. Ashdown's successor as Liberal Democrat leader, Charles Kennedy, deliberately allowed the JCC to slip into abeyance until it effectively stopped meeting equals resignation and retirement equals, Ashdown announced his intention to resign as leader of the Liberal Democrats on January 20, 1999, departing on August 9 that year after 11 years in the role, and was succeeded by Charles Kennedy. In the summer of 1999, there was speculation that he would be appointed the new Secretary General of NATO. However, his lack of governmental experience meant that doubts were raised about his suitability. The post was ultimately filled by Labor Defense Secretary George Robertson. 
he was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2000 and was created a Life Peers Baron Ashdown of Norton Subhamden, of Norton Subhamden in the County of Somerset on July 10, 2001, in the House of Lords, on July 16, 2001 after retiring from the Commons one month previously. In the 2001 election, the Yeovil seat was retained for the Liberal Democrats by David Laws. Ashdown was conferred in 2001 with an honorary Doctor of Letters degree by Bonmouth University and an honorary Doctor of Laws degree by the University of Bath. In retirement Ashdown became a regular voice for the Liberal Democrats. At the 2015 general election he appeared on the BBC soon after the announcement of the exit poll which predicted that the Liberal Democrats would be reduced from 57 MPs to 10. Ashdown stated that he would eat his hat if the exit poll was correct. The actual result was that the Liberal Democrats returned eight MPs but the technical difference from the exit poll was not enough to save him from several requests to carry out his vow. Some commentators suggested humorously that this was an example of Liberal Democrats breaking their promises in response to U-turns conducted while in coalition government. However, Ashdown did keep his promise one day following the election on the BBC's Question Time programme, in which he was presented with a chocolate hat that he later ate. Equals offer of cabinet post equals, in June 2007, the BBC reported that Ashdown had been offered, and rejected, the cabinet post of Northern Ireland Secretary by incoming Labour Party Prime Minister Gordon Brown. Liberal Democrat leader Sir Menzies Campbell had already ruled out the idea that members of his party would take seats in a Brown cabinet, but, according to the reports, Brown still proceeded to approach Ashdown with the offer. High Representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina. After leaving frontline British politics, he accepted the post of the High Representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina on May 27, 2002 reflecting his long-time advocacy of international intervention in that region. He succeeded Wolfgang Petrich in the position created under the Dayton Agreement. Paddy Ashdown had many successes during his time as High Representative, including strengthening the central state institutions, bringing in statewide legal bodies such as State Investigation and Protection Agency and bringing the two ethnic armies under a central civilian command. He is sometimes denigrated as the Viceroy of Bosnia by critics of his work as High Representative. Equals witness for the prosecution at the trial of Slobodan Milojeva equals, on March 14, 2002, Ashdown testified as a witness for the prosecution at the trial of Slobodan Milojeva at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. He said that he was on the Kosovo-Albania border near Junik in June 1998. From this location, through his binoculars, Ashdown claimed to have seen Serbian forces shelling several villages. In July 2005 a defense witness, General Boa Three-Quarters Adar Delia, claimed to demonstrate with a topographical map of the area that Ashdown could not have been able to see the areas that he claimed to be able to see as hills, mountains and thick woods obstructed his view. After the Delia claims. Ashdown supplied the tribunal with grid coordinates and a cross-section of the ground indicating that he could indeed see the locations concerned. These coordinates indicated he was on the Kosovo-Albania border, which was a sealed border at the time. The prosecution also used some new maps indicating Ashdown's location, but their accuracy was challenged by Delia, as the location of a village was different from other maps of the area. UN representative for Afghanistan Lord Ashdown was also interested to be a possible candidate to take charge of the Allied effort in Afghanistan. An unnamed source is quoted in a January 16 Reuters report indicating that Lord Ashdown, when approached by UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon, accepted the post. However, he later decided against taking the role, after gleaning that Afghanistan preferred General Sir John McCall over him. On March 7, 2008 Norwegian diplomat Kai Eid was appointed as the UN representative for Afghanistan, stating I'm not Paddy Ashdown, but don't underestimate me. Other positions, Lord Ashdown is a member of the Governing Council of Interpeace, an international peace-building organization, and also serves as president of Chatham House. Personal life, Ashdown married Jane Courtney in 1962. The couple have a son, Simon and daughter, Catherine, along with three grandchildren. 
in 1992 following the press becoming aware of a stolen document relating to a divorce case, he disclosed a five-month affair with his secretary, Patricia Howard, five years earlier. He and his marriage weathered the political and tabloid storm, with his wife of 30 years forgiving him. The revelation of his affair sparked the front-page headline It's Paddy Pants Down from the Sun newspaper on February 6, 1992. Lord Ashdown supports Yeovil Town FC and attends some matches. He also is a member of the National Liberal Club. National Honours, Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire, 2000, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, 2006, Companion of Honour, 2015. Styles, Paddy Ashdown, Paddy Ashdown MP, the RT Honourable Paddy Ashdown MP, the RT Honourable Sir Paddy Ashdown KPE MP, the RT Honourable Sir Paddy Ashdown KPE, the RT Honourable The Lord Ashdown of Norton Subhamden KPE PC, the RT Honourable The Lord Ashdown of Norton Subhamden GCMG KPE PC, the RT Honourable The Lord Ashdown of Norton Subhamden GCMG CH KPE PC. See also, Politics of the United Kingdom. Footnotes Bibliography, 2000, The Ashdown Diaries Vol. 1. 1988 to Euro 1997, ISBN 0-14-029775-8, 2001, The Ashdown Diaries Vol. 2. 1997 to Euro 1999, ISBN 0-14-029776-6, 2008, Swords and Plowshares, Building Peace in the 21st Century. ISBN 0-297-85303-1, 2010, A Fortunate Life, The Autobiography of Paddy Ashdown, ISBN 978-1-84513-419-8, A Brilliant Little Operation, The Cockle Shell Heroes and the Most Courageous Raid of World War II, ISBN 1,845,137,019. External links Lord Ashdown of Norton Subhamden Profile at the site of Liberal Democrats. Profile at Parliament of the United Kingdom. Contributions in Parliament at Hansard 1803 Euro 2005. Current session contributions in Parliament at Hansard. Electoral history and profile at The Guardian. Voting record at publicwhip.org. Record in Parliament at theyworkforyou.com, Profile at Westminster Parliamentary Record, Profile at BBC News Democracy Live, Articles authored at Journalisted, Column Archive at The Guardian, Appearances on C-SPAN, Paddy Ashdown Collected News and Commentary at The Guardian, Catalogue of the Papers of Paddy Ashdown at London School of Economics Archives, After Iraq A Euro Shall We Ever? Intervene Again Lecture by Ashdown Given at Gresham College, May 15, 2007, audio, Lord Paddy Ashdown in conversation on the BBC World Service discussion show The Forum, Paddy Ashdown at TED.